everyone so today I have like a mini haul for you and it's one that I do every year and I don't know actually I don't know if I did it last year or not but I actually wind up buying these every year um, but it is the Sephora favorite sun safety kit oh there's a glare so this is what it looks like now um, and then the one hold on one sec from like two years ago was in this bag here this is my travel bag and I actually wind up keeping the more the majority of uh, my travel items or my essentials that I know like I will continuously use or things that won't expire or at least I have a decent lifespan and then I do wind up going through my travel bag maybe I should make a video of that one day of just like what I normally take with me but um, I do reuse these bags. I have um, last year's Sun Safety Kit bag for a bunch of face product face products that I'm trying to use up in 2015 too. So like I'm a bag lady. Like makeup bags, purses, totes, whatever it is, it's just a problem. But you know what? There's so many worse things in the world than that. So I'm just gonna let. Let's just move on. Let's let it go. Let's go into the sun safety kit. So, um, it's two sided, so there's products on two sides. Um, the retail price is in the United States, I should say, is $32. Um, there used to be, like, they used to be able to, like, they put the retail price for US dollars and then Canadian dollars. And I'm not sure if Canada will get this only because. I had read somewhere online that like, I don't know, there was like some law or something to do with sunscreen or something in Canada. I don't know the whole um, story about it. So I don't know if you guys can fill me in on what it is and why not and all that fun stuff. But it's $32 United States dollars. Um, and uh, 20 of the 32 retail dollars winds up going to the Skin Cancer Foundation, which is amazing. Anytime there's something that, um, like a good amount of money at least, there's like gets donated to a good cause, I will totally support it. For instance, like Max Viva Glam line, even if it's a color that is totally unwearable, I will still support it because 100% of the retail price goes to them, goes to the Mac um, AIDS Fund, etc. Urban Decay, just as a side note, also has the what is it, the Violet Edge or something like that, and. Um, right now, if you buy the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Enigma, 100% of the retail price goes to that fun too. So, anyways, back to this. I'm going to actually unbox it and then I will list all the products or tell you all the products Out that come of the container that was in, like this plastic. Um, so basically, with just the bag itself, <laughs> hello looks like that and when I had got it I actually assumed that it would just like zip like this and it would pop open this way but it actually pop opens that way lengthwise or widthwise maybe it depends on how you how you describe that but anyways there's plenty of room in here this is a really great travel bag in my opinion I like clear bags especially to travel with because then you can see everything but I think I mean I might actually consider <laughs> moving everything from that other travel bag into this one just because it would be convenient to like go somewhere traveling and on the vanity or the sink or whatever whatever you want to put in your stuff for me it's like by the sink I would just like let it plop open like this and I could just go in and out of it like that so I don't know anyways let's move on to the products so first is um, Dr. Dennis Gross Dark Spot Sun Defense SPF 50, that's what it comes Can we see? It's like super bright in here. And a lot of these products I have not tried, um, or there's a good amount of products I haven't tried, so I can't really comment on anything. Um, there's the Josie Marin Argan Daily Moisturizer with SPF 47. I had used the one that was, um, I guess her original one, and this is the reformulated one. I believe it also has a higher level of sunscreen. I think it's the clear one. Yeah. Not tinted. I do want to try the tinted one because it would be kind of convenient. Um, but I love this. At least I love the old one. The Peter Thomas Roth Max Sheer All Day Moisture Defense Lotion. 
And this was in the past two sets, I, I'm pretty sure it was in the past two sets for sure. And I don't know prior to 2013 um, if this was in there, but I love this. And my daughter is very allergic to some sunscreen, some blocks, whatever you want to call them. Um, so she can't wear everything because it winds up breaking her out and she gets like a bunch of the bumps and so does my stepson too. He gets really sensitive to um, sunscreen as well. And this works out really well for her. So she gets some hydration but also the protection which kind of is nice to kind of carry around or keep it in the car or whatever. But I really like that. Um, I have the Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection Cream SPF 50 for the face. This is for the face. I really like this because it doesn't leave like a tacky feeling or anything. It almost, for me at least, it feels like it dries down to almost like a powder like finish or kind of velvety. I had always wanted to try the Clinique CC Cream. I still wanted to try the BB Cream, but I think I always have a hard time getting, finding my match because a lot of it is really pink and I am really, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I'm very golden or yellow really um, in undertone and when I go in the car it's like really apparent there and I'm like I'm like fluorescent yellow like in real life like really <laughs> but this is in the color light medium the CC cream I just want to see I mean it might be workable considering it's probably sheer let's I'm gonna just swatch it seems like it's doable, but I don't know if you can see on my hand. You can't even see it, which is probably good. It's right there. Anyway, this one was a level of 30. And the P Peter Thomas Roth was, did I tell you? 30 as well. Yes. Okay. Next, I'm really excited to try is the Murad Invisibler Perfecting Shield Broad Spectrum SP30. And I've played with it on my hand. I haven't actually got to try it on my face. Um, so it says treats, blurs, and protects. And honestly, I think that would be a good option for people who are looking for prime primer with sunscreen. And it doesn't feel as heavy as like Smashbox's original primer. So I really like that. Next is the Clarins UV Plus. Anti-pollution with SPF 50. And that was in the last two years, I believe, as well. Uh, the Fresh Sugar Lip Treatment, and this has SPF 15. I love these. Oh, I love those so much. So, so, so much. So good. Um, Dr. Jart BB Beauty Balm. It's the premium one, SPF 45. Origins Vitazing SPF 15. Uh, energy boosting moisturizer with mango steam. And it's supposed to have a sheer tint, and it really does. I've actually had full size of this. And I can't remember now if I've already gotten rid of it or not, but, um, or it's something that I'm in the middle of about to get rid of it because the sunscreen is going to expire. So I've had it for a long time. And I did like it, but it was just a product that I winded up neglecting, which is another story. Um, but I'm really glad to have it because this is actually nice and handy. Um, so yeah, there's that one. And I've never tried the Ulla Henriksen Total Truth Eye Cream in SPF 15. It's a tiny little baby one, but it's a great way to try it. And I want to see if that one irritates my eyes. There's um, an Amore Pacific... Um, there's an eye cream that's like a, a tub, like two separate tubs. Well, not separate. There are two tubs that are in one. It's like a two-in-one. One side is for day, one side is for night, and the one for day is has sunscreen in it. And that one, I have to be very careful with because it burns the crap out of my eyes. And it's the sunscreen that does that. So we'll see if this one winds up burning my eyes. I have no idea, and hopefully not, because I would love to have a sunscreen. Whoops. Or an eye cream with sunscreen. Okay, next is Super Goop Anti-Aging UV Damage Repair Complex City Sunscreen Serum in... Broad Spectrum SPF 30, so it has a little tube like that for this kit, I should say. I'm excited to try that because I really enjoyed the um, sunscreen body oil or oil that they had last year. I love that. It was so good and it smells amazing and our store actually has that same size that was in the kit last year 
for sale. We're going to put it on the Beauty on the Fly section, so very excited. There's the Vita Liberata Broad Spectrum SPF 50, Passion Flower and Argan Dry Oil for the face, body, and hair. Um, that's awesome because I really liked the Shiseido sunscreen that was in a, um, a spray and I've used it in my hair or sometimes like for me because I always part my hair like I like to put stuff like this which I'm hoping this will work like the other one um, like here because um, getting burnt on the scalp is not fun <laughs> like it hurts like a mofo and then it flakes so um, I can use that for me or like my daughter or my fiance my stepson and all that fun stuff um, we could use stuff like that it makes it handy and the Corez Yogurt Nourishing Fluid Veil, a face sunscreen, so broad spectrum, SPF 30. And this one I played with on my hand from work, and it smells really nice, and it feels really lightweight, so I'm looking forward to trying it out. I've, um, just by the feel of it, I have no idea about how, how like, it performs on the face, but by the feel, it, it feels very similar to, um, the Algenet sunscreen, but yeah, this one's 30. The Algenet one is an SP50. That stuff is amazing, by the way. So I would say get a sample of that if you can, because it's awesome. Um, there's this guy, which I am interested in trying, so we'll see. Um, it's the San Tropez Water and Transfer Resistant, oh, it's in the color light medium, 24 hour wear, wash off face and body lotion. And let me just see, is it tinted? I have no idea. Let's just open it real fast. Oh. Well, let's, since I squeezed out too much, let's see. Let's just have a look. I'm going to put it on my hand. So it looks like that. <laughs> Will my hand look nice and tan? I don't know. I guess, so it's on here. And it does tint. It does tint it. Very little. Which is probably good because you don't want it too dark. Otherwise it would be obvious and streaky I'm sure. Or orange. So we'll see how that works. And last but not least is the Amara Pacific Natural Protector SPF 30. And I've heard amazing things from about this sunscreen. And the brand itself is really amazing, as I mentioned in one of my other videos, it is a more natural brand. And well. they're greatest gifts too because, I mean, it doesn't matter what skin tone you are, you should always protect your face. And I know that there are some products that are tinted, um, and I think the one, really, in my opinion, that would most affect um, people as far as like, you know, like, the color of the product versus like the color of their skin tone or what their skin tone is is these two products. Um, even if you are are unable to use these two things, but use everything else, is still worth the money. And again, it goes the majority of it goes to a good cause. So that's enough of my rambling. <laughs> um, if you stuck around to the end, thank you so much for watching and go get your hands on this kit, the sun safety kit, amazing and totally worth it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.